aka how to get custom avatars in Roblox Studio. Here are two examples. This is a boy avatar and this is a girl avatar. So without further ado, let's start. Okay, so the first thing we need to get is the plugin that lets us get any catalog accessories or item we want. So you're gonna click on the search, then type in load catalog, and then go to library. There's a little arrow here, so you're going to click on it, then pick plugins. And you will have a bunch of options. The one I pick is the one that has the oldest date, which is this one, and it is two years ago. The other are one month ago or four weeks ago. So I pick this one because I think it's the original one. You're going to get on this page, so you're going to click on install then open Roblox it's gonna take a few minutes to load then here load catalog item successfully installed and click OK now that we are on the base page you're gonna click plugins then build rig it's a default plugin you don't need to install it then click R6 and pick the rig you want I will pick woman rig Now we're going to click view, then explorer. So we of course going to add body color, outfits, and hairstyles, and lots of other accessories. So you're going to click on the arrow, then when you leave your cursor on the name, there's going to be a plus sign, so click on it, then click body color. Now click on the body color and pick properties under view. We're going to start from here. You're gonna change all of them to the color you want. I always pick nougat because it's actually my skin color. So yeah. All done. You can delete the humanoid root part because it makes like a gray part. So delete that. I'm gonna start with the simplest thing, which is the outfits. So you're going to also click plus on it and then click shirt or pants. I will pick pants and then click on it. Then also click properties and then we're going to pick the clothing we want. So I will go to my browser. I'll pick one of my clothing, which is this. It is from Winx Club. So what you want to do is click this place up. It should be with HTTP. Then double click it. Control C. Then go to Roblox Studio, there is your pants template, click on it, then control V, and then enter. And now we have the clothing. You can add a shirt if you want, but I won't do it right now. Now we're gonna do the face. The face and all of the accessories are in the same way. So you can X properties, then plug in. You're gonna click the load catalog item, and then you can move it aside. Then let's go pick any accessories you want. I'll pick random accessories for now. I'll pick this blonde aesthetic high ponytail, 80s aesthetic stickers, and that's it, I think. So here, up here, you can see there's numbers and some stuff. So you're going to only select the numbers, then Ctrl C, then go to Roblox Studio, paste it in here, enter, then insert. You can see here in the Explorer we have it here as an asset and the number. Click the arrow, then you select this, then drag it to dummy. And then you have the hair. Now let me put the other accessories as well.
Okay, I don't know what's happening, but it's not placing at the right position. That doesn't happen, actually, but I don't know why it's happening. I think it's from my internet. But yeah, this is it. And now, for the last part, I will show for the face, which is the same, but I'll just show it as well. I'll pick this squiggle mouse. You also pick the numbers. Control C, then paste it here. Insert. But make sure before you uh, move it or drag it to the head, click the head uh, arrow next to the head, then delete the face, then as said face, drag it to the head. And this is how you get a custom avatar. And of course, if you want to rename it, you click on it, then rename. So that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.